What's up guys? We're here in Vail, Colorado. I'm with my good friends Maddie. Say hi Maddie. Hey. And David. Say hi David. What's up? How are you doing? And today we're trying to think of what a useful vlog would be aside from just awesome shots of us tearing up the mountain. One of the things we kind of came back to, David and I have been working on a new blueprint for Location Rebel that's all about how to improve your sales and how to be get over your fears of selling on the phone and becoming a better salesperson. Because let's face it, everything in life is all about selling, whether you're trying to sell someone on yourself, your ideas, your concepts, whatever it is. So in this video, we're gonna share with you three ways you can get over your fear of selling, and we're gonna tell you three different stories for how each of us were able to do it. Let's jump into it. All right, tip number one, get yourself in a position where you're forced to learn sales, whether that's getting a part-time job, starting a podcast, starting a YouTube video, becoming a stripper, becoming a stripper, <laughs> something that you need to talk to people every single day and your job depends on it. For me personally, what I did is when I was 14 years old, I wanted to start a car washing business. And this is during middle school, all my friends are skateboarding, you know, joining organizations, having fun after school. I was knocking door to door because my stepfather wouldn't allow me in the house until I got 10 new clients for the weekend. So for me, I was forced to do it at a very young age. That's not entertaining. You're Yo, super boring right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't care where in the world you are, but $175 for a single day of skiing that doesn't involve a helicopter or a foot of powder, that's just stupid. Tip number two, realize that you're just talking to a normal person on the other end and it's, it's not that scary. So I always wanted to be a marketer, but uh, sales is where I started. The reason being is that you need sales in pretty much everything that you do. Uh, if, how can you market to someone if you don't know how to sell to someone? So my first real hardcore sales job was upselling uh, workout videos, 70 hours a week, seven, seven days a week, 10 hours a day. It was really intense. Uh, definitely throw yourself into it. There's no other way to learn. That was not a very good intro. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be, you know what, I used you know what, to be pretty good at You know it. what it makes up for it? This beautiful view right here. This is Vail, Vail Colorado right now. Not a bad view, is it? Yeah. No, this no. is location independence right now. All right, and finally, tip number three, make it as warm of a cold, warm of a cold call as possible. So my first foray into sales was my freshman year of college. I started a house painting business. So for three months in the spring before uh, summer break, I went door to door every single weekend trying to get people to allow me to give them an estimate to paint their house. Flip flyer that, that you principle. Print pamphlet principle. That's a really good principle. Yeah, talk so talk one about of the that. things that I learned when I was doing it was I would go and I would leave a pamphlet the afternoon before and then I would come and knock on their door. And so a lot of times what would happen is people would be like, oh, I hadn't been thinking of house painting, but somebody left this flyer on my door, you know, just yesterday. So we started talking about it. And yeah, actually we would like an estimate. So it's kind of warming people up. Um, so if you can do that with, you know, your sales calls as well, maybe it's sending them an email, maybe that's sending them a piece of direct mail in, you know, snail mail. Um, so people have an idea of who you are before you, you jump into things. Pick a number between one and 10. Mm, seven. No, it's four. You lose. Ah. All right, I hope you enjoyed our sales tips from the mountain back here in very rainy Portland, Oregon, and still, as you can tell, tripod list thanks to Southwest Air. If you like this video, hit subscribe. We got new videos every Thursday. Give it the good old thumbs up, and we will be back here next week on the Location 180 vlog with uh, something new and fun for you. So thanks for staying tuned, and uh, can't wait to talk to you guys soon. You are totally covering up the microphone, by the way, so. <laughs> Which one's the mic? Oh, crap. All right, there we go. It's amateur hour. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't find good help these days. <laughs>